Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Mark from Woodworker Source, and today I've got another walnut tabletop that we're gonna finish. Hey, but first I just wanna say thanks for checking out our wood finishing tutorials. So we're just a hardwood lumber supplier, and we know that you put in a lot of time and a lot of effort into building your woodworking projects. So we'd like to put out these wood finishing videos and tutorials to help you along the way to making your project look its absolute best. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and then you're gonna get a notification next time we publish a video. So I've got a pretty cool method here today that uses two really popular products, a Danish oil, and then a water-based top coat. So this is a really sweet combination for walnut tabletops when you want to emphasize that awesome dark brown color and give it a good hard finish. Not all wood finishes actually give it the most flattering look. Now I've made a few samples to show you what I mean. So a water-based finish applied right to walnut basically looks like that there's nothing on it at all. So depending on your taste, you're either gonna like that or you're not. So then you've got Armor Seal by General Finishes, which is a really popular finish, partly because it's so easy and partly because it really looks good on woods like walnut. It just gives it a kiss of color and not much more, and it's really easy to apply. And then a good classic oil-based polyurethane finish arguably looks a little bit better than either the water-based or the Armor Seal does. But here's this black walnut Danish oil, and the only thing that makes this special really is that it has a little bit of dark pigment. Otherwise, it's just a classic oil and varnish blend finish. This is such a cool color. This is what we're gonna use on this tabletop. Now there are a few flaws in this panel that we're gonna make disappear. So it's got two small voids, a stripe of sapwood that I couldn't quite work around, and then there's this swirl in the grain, but it actually happens to be a big gnarly knot on the backside. All right, the point is, walnut always has these little characteristics in it that you either gotta work around or deal with in some way. So that knot, even though it's like big and gnarly, it was actually pretty simple to deal with because it didn't show through the board on both sides. So I just flipped it over, put it on the bottom. And on the sapwood, I used a little trick of the eye. And what I mean is, when I glued up the panel, I mated the two boards with the sapwood edges together. And that did two things. First, it hit the glue line. If I glued the sapwood to a hardwood edge, really the glue line would stand out like a sore thumb. And second, that sapwood stripe took on a more flowing, a more nuanced shape that I think is kind of cool. So that's what I did. And from there, the dark walnut oil is gonna give us a nice, rich, even color. But on those two voids, I just fixed them with a walnut colored filler. And here's how I did that. I used this stuff called Timberbait, which is an easy to use water-based filler. And it works a lot like drywall mud does. And on the finish sanding, as usual, I sand all sides, including the edges, by stepping through coarse, medium, and fine grits. And in this case, that was 120, 150, 180, and 220 grits. It's really easy to apply this oil. Check this out. So you're just gonna wipe on a coat. In this case, I'm just using a blue shop towel, but you could also use like a cotton rag, a foam brush, anything just to spread this stuff around all over your project. So after about six hours or so, it'll be good and dry. So now that that first coat is dry, you've got three choices. You either stop there and be happy, you apply more coats, or you top coat it with something else that you might like, such as wax or a polyurethane or lacquer, shellac, something like that. So believe it or not, if you add another coat now, it's not gonna really make it any darker. The pigment's already done its job, and Danish oil's got a little bit of varnish in it, so it's effectively sealed the wood. It's just not gonna accept any more color at this point. So you could just stop right there if you wanted to. If this was something like a shelf or a decorative box, something that doesn't get a lot of use, stop right there because the wood looks pretty and it's got this nice, dull matte sheen. Looks pretty awesome. Now, since this is a tabletop, I'm thinking it's gonna need some good protection. So I'm gonna stick with just that one coat of Danish oil just for the color, and I'm gonna use this stuff, General Finishes High Performance Water-Based Top Coat. Now 
here's how to apply it. So there are three rules to know. You break them when you have to, but try not to. First, overlap each pass by about 25% to maintain a wet edge. Second, don't brush back and forth willy-nilly. Take maybe one pass or two, and that's it. And third, if you see stroke marks as you go, just relax. They'll mostly level out by the time this dries. and then you scuff between coats, and if you've seen any of our other videos, you know I always say this, but it's a good practice, and it's really the number one secret to getting a super smooth finish. So take the time to scuff between coats. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna get a nice, super smooth finish in the end. 